Haha. -ha. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the weekend preview. Today is December 20th, 2015. Yes, and I, of course, am DSP. And uh, welcome to holiday week, right? This is what we've all been waiting for. It's the week of Christmas, and uh, hopefully, you and yours, you, your family, your friends, and everyone around you, your pets, hopefully, you're having a good week. Hopefully, everything's been going well for you. It's a great holiday season. At the end of this week, we're all going to be celebrating Christmas and or whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. Even if you don't celebrate a holiday, I still hope that you're having a merry time. This is a great time of year. And I've even, uh, I said this on Twitter last night. I said it needs to be said more and more. Happy holidays or whatever holiday it is you celebrate. And do your best this week if you can to be kind to other people. Be nice, be happy, be helpful, be jolly. You know what I mean? If ever you're going to do it, do it this week. And uh, that's hopefully going to come through with the stuff that I'm doing this week, all right? So this week in particular, I just want to forewarn everyone, is a very different week for me and my content and my streaming and everything that I'm doing this week is going to be very different from the norm. And I'm forewarning you because I don't want people to get shocked or taken about, oh my God, this happened, this happened. No, it's all been for pl for previously planned before. It's not like a last minute switch, okay? So I'm going to go through it uh, in a moment and explain everything. Uh, to you of what I'm planning to do every single day because it's going to be a pretty busy week. At the end of this video, I'm going to summarize a few quick things as well that are important for the month, but in general, I want to cover the week first, all right? So as you guys and gals know, all I've really been doing for the past several weeks is playing through the games that I started playing in November, including Fallout 4, WWE 2K16's My Career Mode, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Yakuza 5, which I started uh, a little bit over a week. At this point, it's about a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, okay? <clears throat> I'm having fun doing it, but I am 100% aware that there's a lot of people who aren't really enjoying it because they like new stuff, they like fresh stuff, they like it when there's uh, more of an air of, oh, something new and something hot and something interesting is happening. The thing is, there's nothing really going on in the month of December uh, in that regard, there's no big high profile new releases or anything like that. So really I've just been kind of doing the same thing every day I play one to two games or whatever. And that's kind of how I've been following along for this month. Now listen, I realize this month people really haven't been tuning in too much to the streams and the, you know, the ongoing series on YouTube. Fallout 4 is doing okay, but everything else is kind of eh. And I understand that. Listen, it's the end of the year. This is exactly what happened at the end of last year. And I tried this year as much as I could to avoid it. But there's nothing I can do when all the new games came out at once, right? I cut out the games I didn't want to play, like Just Cause 3, which I really didn't like after playing it a few sessions, and uh, Rainbow Six Siege, which, again, I really didn't enjoy after playing it for a session. Those games I cut out so that I could get and focus on the games that I was enjoying, which is what people were telling me to do. And so I do apologize to anyone who was like, man, you know, I like Phil, I like his content, I just don't like the games he's playing or what he's doing right now, and I can't wait till he does something new. Apologies, this week's going to mix that up, so allow me to explain what's going to happen. First of all, right now I'm filming the Week in Preview. As soon as I finish filming this Week in Preview, I'm going to start working on my Christmas special. Yes, there is going to be a Christmas special this year. I know there was not one for 2014, that's because my family was visiting and I was busy. This year there will be a Christmas special, and it will be airing on Christmas Day on DSP Gaming, just so you know. Uh, it is going to be kind of interesting. It's a throwback to something I did several years ago, but I'm going to modernize it, and it's going to hopefully come out a lot better than the last one did. So it's going to be a fun Christmas special. I'm going to try to write some of, if not a lot of that tonight, okay? And then for the rest of this week, I'm going to be working on the year-end series, including that, and I'll explain that in a moment. Monday, tomorrow, big change. So everyone, I'm trying to make you aware, big change. Tomorrow, Monday, December 21st. My daily gameplay streams are going to be one hour earlier. I'm going to repeat that. The streaming is going to start one hour earlier. So normally my gameplay streams start between around maybe 12.30 to 1 p.m. Pacific time. Now it's going to be around 11.30 a.m. to maybe noonish Pacific time. The reason I'm doing this is because we're in the holiday hustle and bustle, right? Come later this week, I'm going to be doing different stuff, and I want to get as far into the stuff that I'm doing, if not complete several games this week, with the four days that I have to actually do this. So, tomorrow... I'm going to start out my gameplay stream with WWE 2K16 My Career Mode, but I'm only going to do it for maybe an hour or two hours tops. And what I mean by that is I, I'm right at the precipice of doing 
a main event WrestleMania match where it's myself and Sting against the Authority. I want to play that match, and I want to give the game a chance and see if it's going to push me into any other interesting plot lines. If it does, great. I'll play it for a little longer. If not, that's going to be it for the My Career Mode, because I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think the game's too long-winded. They improved the My Career Mode this year, but again, they didn't make it, they didn't perfect it yet. It still needs a lot more in the realm of allowing you to do plot lines and stuff without having the constant repetition of crappy jobber matches. It just takes too freaking long to get this thing moving ahead. So, tomorrow, when I start streaming between 11.30 a.m. and noon Pacific time, so an hour earlier than usual, it's going to be the conclusion of the WWE My Career Mode. Then, I'm going to take a break. When I come back from the break during that stream, I'm going to be doing more Fallout 4. And for those of you who have not caught up yet, I'm in the end game of Fallout 4. I've actually started all the conclusion missions. So I got all the bobbleheads. I basically did, did it so I've progressed past the point where I can do the Brotherhood of Steel ending. So I'm doing stuff for the railroad, Underground Railroad right now. And now I'm going to decide if I want to do either the Underground Railroad or the Institute. Then I can decide if I want to do the Minutemen ending. And then finally I'm going to go back and reload a previous save to do the Brotherhood of Steel ending. So I'm right in there with a couple more hours. I'm going to at least reach one ending. And then I'm going to go back and do all the other endings. So tomorrow on stream, the second half of the stream tomorrow, is probably going to be some significant stuff going on in Fallout 4, okay? So, the other thing is the stream is going to run as long as it always has. So even though it's starting an hour earlier, it's still going to run to 4 p.m. Pacific Times, which means the stream is actually increasing in length by an hour. That's good for you and good for me because I'm going to get further in the games I love and you guys are going to get more video content every day. So thumbs up there, okay? So in regards to what you're going to see on YouTube on Monday, you're going to see... WWE videos, you're going to see probably some Fallout videos, and you're going to see a new batch of Street Fighter V. And the reason I say that is because today, I actually played Street Fighter V for over three hours. I played with Zangief in Street Fighter V Online. I love the character. I really think that he's going to end up being one of my main characters in Street Fighter V. And I play, I loved I recorded 47 freaking matches. And today I uploaded 15. Those are already live on DSP Gaming, so I hope you'll give them a look. But every day this week, t Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you're going to see new batches of Street Fighter V. So another 10 or so matches every day until they all go live. So tomorrow, Monday, is going to be a crazy balance. Street Fighter, WWE, and Fallout, okay? Now, the second half of Monday, I'm not doing any gameplay. What I'm going to do is work on the year-end series, so I'll probably begin to start recording voiceovers and maybe doing getting video clips together and doing everything for the Christmas special. That's going to be my second half of Monday, okay? And basically, the rest of this week, that's going to be par for the course. And what I mean by that is, the first half of the day is going to be an extended gameplay stream, okay? And then the second half of the day is going to be me working on these year-end series. Because I definitely got to get the Christmas special done, because duh, Christmas is Friday, right? And then I got to start working on the most disappointing games of the year, the best and worst things that happened to DSP Gaming this year, my favorite playthroughs overall of the year. Then I'm going to be working on the fan voted funniest moments and the game of the year awards those are my year-end videos this year so fyi there is going to be a poll going live shortly as well it's going to be probably multiple polls on the king of hate.com forums I want to warn everyone where you're going to vote on what were your funniest moments of the year like uh, people have been nominating these moments all year what i'm going to do tomorrow night while I'm working on this stuff, like I said, the year-end series, I'm going to go through all the forums, I'm going to sort out the videos of people that they said these are the funniest moments, and I'm going to put them into several polls that you can vote on, and in a, about a week to two weeks, those polls will close, and that will be the results, and that's how I'll make those videos, okay? So FYI, keep your eyes and ears open, I'll be posting that up on Twitter when it's available so you know where to go to vote, okay? Now, let's keep going. You know what's going to happen on Monday? Tuesday, well... More than likely Tuesday, my gameplay stream is going to be more Fallout 4, okay? Now, I know there's stuff going on this week. I just want to forewarn everyone. I know that there's DLCs out this week. There's possibly a new episodic game out this week. I'm not going to talk about that yet. Let's talk about what I want to get done this week. So, Fallout 4 will be my gameplay stream on Tuesday. Yes, it will be an extended stream. Maybe I'll finish the whole game, or maybe I'll only get certain endings and I won't finish the whole game. We don't know. It remains to be seen, okay? Tuesday night, same thing. I'll be working on the year-end series, so you won't get any new stuff Tuesday night, but I'll be working on year-end series, so don't worry about that. It is coming, okay? Wednesday, same thing. Extended early stream, okay? Four-hour stream. It might be Fallout. If I've already beaten Fallout, then maybe I'll do something different. Maybe I'll do more Yakuza 5, because I know there is... Uh, a group of people who are watching that playthrough, following it, and really enjoying it. And I love the game. I'm definitely going to continue it. I'm not dropping the game. 
Or now let's talk about what actually happens this week. There's two things that are supposedly, supposedly are happening this week. Minecraft Story Mode Episode uh, 4 is coming out. I know. What the hell, right? Like, why? Why is it coming out so early? I don't know. The, now, the game started in October. We're in December, and apparently the game's four out of five episodes released already. If it happens, it happens. I might do that. Or, the other thing that people have been asking me if I'm going to do, there is the DLC for Batman Arkham Knight called The Season of Infamy, where you get to play as up to, I think it's four villains from, you know, the game. And they all have, like, their little mini plot lines that you play in this DLC. Now, the thing is, the season pass for Batman Arkham Knight has been incredibly disappointing. Everyone knows this. Only the very first pack was good. That was the one where I played as Batgirl. Remember that? You were Batgirl, and you went to this amusement park with the Joker, and you were doing stuff there, and it was good. It was like four hours long. It was really, you know, a lot of content. It was a lot of fun. Every DLC since then has been garbage. So the entire season pass was a bait and switch, because they made you think with that very first pack that it was going to be a great DLC season pass for the game, and then you had challenge map packs, um, skin for the Batmobile, skin for Batman. Oh, look, here's a, 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 you know, a, a thing with Catwoman. Oh, it's 10 minutes long. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. There were expansions for Catwoman and Nightwing, which were each 10 minutes long. What the fuck were they even there for? Why'd they bother making them? Oh, I know why, because they wanted to sell the season pass and pretend like there was going to be good content. So apparently, the rumor is this final DLC is supposed to be good. I would like to check it out, but the thing is, I don't even know if I have Batman Arkham Knight on my PS4 anymore because I ran out of space months ago to install all these games digitally and I had to delete. So I might I might have to completely reinstall Batman Arkham Knight and then get this, because I did get the season pass for it, and to then get this pack, I don't know. We'll see, because I want to see. My focus this week, finish WWE, finish Fallout 4. That's the focus. If that happens, then okay, maybe I'll do this season of Infamy, maybe I'll do the next Minecraft story mode, but I gotta finish those two things first before I decide to start promising that I'm gonna be doing other stuff, okay? So Wednesday, I'm not sure what the gameplay will be, but it will be an extended stream Wednesday night. Yes, year-end series, I'll be working on them offline. Thursday's Christmas Eve, okay? Christmas Eve. I'm going to be, yes, doing a gameplay stream. Yes, I am doing a gameplay stream during the day. If anyone wants to come out, I'll be doing it. Again, I can't promise you what it's going to be because I don't know. Um, but Christmas Eve will be gameplay. Might be Fallout, might be Batman, might be anything. Who knows? And then <clears throat> Thursday night, Christmas Eve night, Leanna and I are going to go out to dinner together for Christmas Eve. And uh, I'm probably not going to be working on year-end series. If I am, it'll be like the final editing and encoding of the Christmas special. Okay. Friday is Christmas. Most people have it off, right? Most people are out and about. They're celebrating with their families. They're with their friends. I'll be working, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I want to put out something that's entertaining for you. So this Friday, for the very first time, I'm going to be doing holiday fantasy simulation matches in WWE 2K16. Think back to the years past when I did this, okay? This year, they supposedly fixed the game, so you can put a lot more fantasy. You have 100 downloaded creative wrestlers, and I'm going to be working on this every night this week, looking in there and downloading create characters and stuff for these fantasy sims. So this uh, Friday, Christmas Day... I will be doing a gameplay stream. It will be those earlier hours, the longer stream. It's going to be WWE 2K16 Holiday Christmas Chaos Fantasy Sims. All right? That's going to be a lot of fun. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I hope it's going to turn out well. That'll be Christmas Day. And that day I also will be releasing my Christmas special. So you're going to have the, the WWE Sims and the Christmas special on that day. Now, we're not done yet. I know this is a loaded week in preview because of all the stuff going on this week. My fan appreciation that I was going to do last month, I postponed till this month by the request of everyone. Everyone said, Phil, why are you doing fan appreciation multiplayer in November when everyone gets games for Christmas in December? Why don't you do it after Christmas? So I delayed it purposely. So it's going to start on Saturday, all right? Every day for four days straight is going to be fan appreciation, all right? One day is going to be Star Wars Battlefront. One day it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 3. One day it's going to be Metal Gear Solid Online, and one day it's going to be Halo 5. That's how it's going to happen, all right? Now, just to, to let everyone know, Star Wars Battlefront I have on Xbox One. That's what it's going to be on, okay? Call of Duty Black Ops 3 I got on PS4, so that's that version. Uh, obviously, Metal Gear Solid Online is going to be on PS4, duh. And then last but not least, the fourth one, um, Halo 5, duh, Xbox One. It's an Xbox One exclusive, okay? So... 
I'll be looking for people who want to play with me those days. Those will be the gameplay sessions I do on those days. I'll be honest, if it likes to flop and people just aren't turning out, then I might do something else, all right? But if people are, you know, if people are showing up, we want to play with Phil, multiplayer sessions, we'll do those those days. So four days of fan appreciation multiplayer coming up. I have not 100% set in stone what's on each day, but I'm going to do that about halfway through this week. So you'll want to check my Twitter every day. That's, that's not the Twitter. At they call me DSP because every night I'll be posting up a new amended schedule. I'll pin it there so you'll see, oh, okay, Phil's doing it this, this day, this, this day. So you know what day to be available if you want to play a certain game with me, okay? Want to know the rules of how it works? Basically, you're going to send me a, a private message over either Xbox Live or PSN. I'll try to invite people to a match via that and we'll go from there, okay? All right. So during those four days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, when I'm doing that fan appreciation stuff, all right, I'm also going to be the second half of those days, again, working on year-end series. So what you can see, what you can hope to see, this Friday, the Christmas special will be released, but hopefully, if things go well, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you're going to start to see my first year-end series videos. I'm going to start with the most disappointing games of the year, then I'm going to do the best and worst things that happen at DSP Gaming, and we're going to go move further. So that, that last week of December, you're going to see the year-end series begin, okay? And I'm fully expecting these year-end series are going to take me through that week into the, the, the first probably two full weeks of January. And by the way, once the fan appreciation finishes up, I'm going to be continuing on with Yakuza 5, I'm going to be continuing on with Rise of the Tomb Raider, and... I just want to throw this out there. Since there's really no new games coming out in January, I looked into this. The only real new game that's coming out that I'm really excited to play is Resident Evil Zero, which I've never played before. It's the HD remake that Capcom's making of Resident Evil Zero. I'll be doing that in January. But since there's really nothing else going on, there's a very strong chance, due to viewer res uh, request, that I'll be trying out Undertale in January. Now, I don't know how it's going to go over, I know it's an RPG. People say it plays like Earthbound, looks like Earthbound, and that's the kind of game it is. I love fucking Earthbound. I played it years ago. I was pissed when not a lot of people watched me play Earthbound because they said it was an old, boring RPG. I love that shit. So there's a chance I'll be doing that. People have been asking me for months to play it. I didn't even know what the fuck it was until recently. And I'm like, well, if that's what it is, I would love to do that. And I think January would be the time to do it, considering there's really nothing else really going on. But, of course, I want to finish up games like Yakuza 5 and Rise of the Tomb Raider before I jump into something new. But just know that's coming up, alright? In addition, come January, early January, you're going to see my changes happen. What I mean by that, there's going to be more vlogging here on the King of Hate Vlogs. Every couple days I'll be doing a vlog about things that are going on, people that want to hear my reactions about stuff. That's going to happen. You're going to see more vlogging going on on this channel. I am going to be creating a new channel. I'm in the process of creating that new channel. In fact, I've got some really good suggestions for names. And I got my fingers crossed that everything works out with Machinima once they come back from their time off, which, uh, you know, they'll be back in early uh, January and we can get this channel partnered like they said they would. Yada, yada, yada. So lots of good positive stuff's going to be happening come January. All right. Last but not least, the things that I want to address. I'll point to the Patreon symbol down here, okay? Two things I want to talk about in regards to Patreon. First of all, because of the November patrons, we did hit the goal for the month of November. Weeks ago we hit it. And we're going to be doing a marathon of platforming on December the 30... Darn, 30, 30, 30 days past September, April, June, and... Oh, wait, I see the... Okay, there's 31 days in December. So either December 30th or 31st, I haven't decided yet, one of those days I'm going to be doing a marathon of whatever game wins a poll, which the patrons right now are voting on. So if you were a $5 patron in the month of November, head to the kingofhate.com forums, the thread's there, you can vote. Right now, there's three games in the running, but Conker's Bad Fur Day HD is leading the poll. Okay, just be behind that is Crash Bandicoot 3, and slightly behind that, it's, it's very close poll, slightly behind that, is Banjo-Kazooie HD. So if you're a patron, head over to the forums and vote, vote, vote. You've only, at this point, got about a week and a half left to vote because the 30th or 31st is going to be this marathon, okay? And that's going to be all day that day. I'll be doing that. So just know, for be forewarned, everyone, that is coming up at the end of December, all right? Besides that, the last thing I want to mention, and then we'll, we'll do the thank you roll for the patrons. Again, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Uh, there is now... Just under two weeks left in the month of December, which means that there's two weeks left for you to pledge to my Patreon for this month. If you pledge, right, not only do you get cool personal perks, like you're going to see people who are going to get text thank yous right in this very video, people who get verbal thank yous on things like the Hate Live podcast and other shows, um, 
uh, getting your question answered on Ask the King, which by the way, yes, I'm aware there's no Ask the King this month. It will return in January. I want to make that abundantly clear. Ask the King is returning in January this month with the year-end series and Christmas. It has to kind of go on hiatus. It's coming back in January, and I will be answering all the patron questions then. Okay, but you can also get a private Q&A video made. So there's lots of cool perks you can get for pledging. Plus, if we hit the funding level for this month of December, Rockathon 2.0 is going to happen. Yes, the Rockathon will return at the end of January if we hit the funding level for this month. So if you watched the Rockathon, that seven hour long freaking marathon video that I did, and you want to see me do it again, pledge this month so we can hit the goal. All right, in addition to that, Patrons who pledge $5 or more this month are going to be able to nominate songs for me to play and sing during the course of the Rockathon, all right? And just understand this. I'm not, I know I really don't need to do this. The people who spin this as a negative thing, oh, Phil's going to force people to pay to have him play Rock Band 4 again and as a paywall to suggest songs. The Rock Band Marathon is a special event in celebration of me ra raising a funding level so I can keep doing my job. It's a reward for people who want to allow me to keep doing this as a job full time. It's not a playthrough hidden behind a paywall. That's ridiculous. And people always want to spin it negatively. No. Then you, if you have an issue with this, then you have an issue with every person who uses Patreon because that's the point is to have a goal, right? A rock, a rock band marathon is not something I would normally do. It's not something that I would do a normal day of. No, normally I would do a gameplay stream or whatever and balance that out with other stuff. That's not my normal schedule. So I'm going out of my normal schedule as a reward for a funding level. It's not what these people are trying to be so negative and nasty and, and say it is. So please don't take it that way. I want to do another Rockathon because people loved the last one, but I want to hit this goal level. I mean, let's face it. I want to keep working. I want to keep making blow up money and doing my job. You know, it's like, oh, well, I want to do this really cool thing at work, but they just said if you do it that you're not going to make a paycheck today. You know what I mean? It's not going to work. So that's why it's like that. Please, I hope and most people who are, especially people who are patrons, don't take it that way. I know that. But understand, if you're someone who's on the outside, you're like, man, I really like the Rockathon. I'd like to see Phil do it again. But I keep seeing all this negative stuff about a paywall. Ignore those stupid little kids. Seriously, they're just so fucking jealous. And this, especially this time of year, right? I want to say, wow, we're the holiday season, positive stuff, and they still bombard me with this negative stuff because they really have nothing else to do. It's not like they have any kind of a holiday cheer or anything, right? No, they got to be the humbugs in all of our fucking stockings. Ignore them. Stay pocket positive. Stay focused. That's what I've been doing, and I've been having fun this month, regardless of the fact that, like I said, it is a debtor month. It's still a fun month for me, and I am very appreciative for those of you who are coming out and still watching the streams and still watching the videos. With all the new stuff coming up this week, it's probably going to reinvigorate stuff, so I'm happy about that. And I certainly hope that, you know, everyone will be excited and have a very happy holidays this week. Stay safe. Listen, I know that a lot of people are not going to be coming out live for streams on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Duh! But hopefully you know the content is there and you'll check it out when you get a chance and you'll enjoy it. All right. That is it, everyone. For the weekend preview, the final time I'm wearing the Christmas hat for this year. So, kind of sucks because I really love this season. It's very festive. Thank you for watching. And now, without further ado, special thanks to the patrons from November who made this upcoming platforming marathon possible. And again, hopefully we hit our goal for this month and we can do the Rockathon next month. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you later. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night.